Hey, mate. Cute spot you've got here. It reminds me of every Airbnb I've seen some influencer hocking their tea tree oil in. Speaking of relaxing, have you experienced wearing a flannel from Eton? Yeah, that Eton. The one known for fancy dress shirts. They ain't just a one-trick pony in the garment industry. Observe this blue check flannel. Go on, have a really good look. It's professional, yet slimming. Not some tattered relic from the 90s. It's suitable for lounging at home. Yet, it can be paired with a coat for a business casual look. Feel the lightweight and soft cotton tensile blend on this. <sighs> of course, it's fucking garment washed. Ooh, nice. You don't feel constricted in the neck with this either. The slim fit suits your regular neck size. But if you're feeling a little more lax, or you're in the process of shedding that winter wattle, order a size up without feeling like you're swimming in it. Moving on, we've got the ace of flannels. Let me tell you something, if I could marry a shirt, this would be my choice. Portuguese fucking flannel. You want the extreme ends of warmth and comfort in your flannel? You go with Portuguese. This shirt sits on the cusp of vintage and fresh. Just look at how particular they are with their blending of fabric patterns. Look how the brick striping pops off the white backdrop like that. <sighs> oh, that's craftsmanship. Did you even notice that pocket? Of course you fucking didn't, you twat bag. That's because the patterns are matched up meticulously, like a master carpenter matches herringbone around a corner, sneaky like fucking Sherlock Holmes. Love it. Sitting on the small end, you want to go with a 38 US or a 48 EU. Portuguese flannel knows what's what. And that's why the brand's mills are located in and around Guimaras, Portugal. A city known for its top-notch mills and textile industry, if you haven't heard. There's a reason why their slogan is knowledge in a new world. They know how to sell the old world to the new. They could sell a teapot to a TikToker. Do you know what I mean? Now, don't mind me, but I've got to put another log on the fire. It's a little fucked how much extra we have to pay to have these rentals cleaned, innit? 